Hello, and welcome back to another session in Supervised Ministry 301. I am Steve Googe, and it's my delight to be your professor this quarter. Now, on this presentation, I want to share with you guidelines for writing ministry logs. You will be required, beginning with week number five, to submit a ministry log both to me and your field supervisor. In this narrated PowerPoint, you will learn basically two things. What is a ministry log? We'll answer that question, and then I'll guide you through a process of learning how to write a ministry log. Much of what I will share with you today comes from Experiencing Ministry Supervision by William Powell and Mary Alice Seals. I have relied heavily upon this book, this resource, to help in this presentation today. Now, let's get started. What is a ministry log? Well, a ministry log is a written summary. It's a record that you submit to both your field supervisor and to me, your course instructor. It's a report of ministry that the student is pursuing, meetings you attend, assignments you attempted or completed, events you attended, for example, a conference or a minister's meeting or fellowship that the association may conduct, or committee meetings that you attend, and most importantly, the kind of care you provided within the objectives set forth in your supervised ministry learning covenant. You will discuss your ministry learning covenant with your field supervisor on week number five of this quarter, so be thinking about putting together this learning covenant that will guide your learning for the rest of this quarter. Students will use a report form found in the syllabus to communicate progress. You can find this form in appendix number one. The form is also located on Moodle's front page as a template, so you won't need to retype or copy the document. Only fill it in and be ready to submit it. Now, on the next slide, we'll talk about how to write a ministry log. On this slide, we will talk about how to write a ministry log. Now, it might be helpful for you to stop the narrated PowerPoint at this spot and look on page 10 of your syllabus so that you can follow along as I instruct you on what important information I'm looking for in the ministry report. I'll pause for just a moment to give you an opportunity to locate this item. Again, it's appendix number one on page 10. Now that you have the document in hand, notice that you're asked to fill in some basic information about the date you submitted the report, the names involved in seeing the copy of the report, for example, your name, your professor of record, your supervisor's name, all of these will be important for you to fill in right at the top of the log. Then it says, please submit in typing the information requested. Well, I've made it easier for you by providing a template on the front of Moodle's home page so that you will not have to retype this uh, item at all. You will then be able to fill in the information that's asked for. I prefer single-spaced within a paragraph and double-spaced between paragraphs. A total of two to three pages is certainly sufficient for this assignment. What will you want to put in the document? Well, background information is very important. You'll see that on Roman numeral number one. This means that you will need to provide a summary of the week's activities, your plans, the events, the resources that you read or consulted, and issues that may have arisen during the week. How the items in the background section relate to the objectives of your learning covenant is also important. That could be put uh, in Roman numeral number one. It needs to be very specific with what you're doing, and the background needs to list some of your objectives that you have set out in your learning covenant. If an item doesn't fit neatly into one of your objectives, then that's okay. It does not have to match perfectly. And then I want to ask you to, in Roman numeral number two, give more detailed comments 
on two selected items that you have already mentioned briefly in the background information. You'll select two items from that list, and then you will write a more detailed report of what actually occurred. You want to talk about what happened. What did you do? What did the person you were ministering to do? What happened? And then what went well? What do you consider a success in this situation? How did you help the person by ministering to them? What went well? And then what did not go well? That also is important for you to reflect about. Then you will evaluate based on theological reflection what you did. And then you can add additional comments or follow up. The follow up is very important because it will help you to identify a path forward to continue ministering to this person or to the program that you are involved with. Well, that's how to write a ministry log, and I encourage you to be as detailed as you can and submit it on time, and you'll do very well on this assignment.